About two weeks ago, I made a video taking a look at the best goalkeeper at every height from 5 foot 8 through to 6 foot 10, or the best in my eyes at least. Quite a lot of you commented requesting that I make similar videos for defenders, midfielders and forwards, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Well, unless this video absolutely tanks, in which case I'll just be doing defenders. That was an unusually quick intro for this channel, wasn't it? Uh, go ahead and check out the goalkeepers video if you haven't already, in which I explain why I'm using feet and inches, but will mention centimetres throughout as well, why I picked these start and end heights, how I determined each player's official height, and why I enjoy these types of videos. But I'm using all the same criteria in today's video. Anyone who plays predominantly as either a fullback or centre-back is eligible, and I'm picking out the player who I feel is the best all-round in their specific position, rather than who is the best purely in defensive terms. Okay, so here are my views on the best defender at every height, from 5'4 through to 6'8. 5'4 Tarek Lamptey We start with Tarek Lamptey, who is, in fact, between 5 foot 4 and 5 foot 5 inches tall. The Brighton and Hove Albion star stands at a markedly diminutive 164 centimetres tall, making him the second shortest player in the Premier League right now, with only Newcastle wide man Ryan Fraser measuring in just one centimetre shorter than him. Lamptey is probably the most exciting fullback to watch in English football right now, given his agility, adventurousness, and explosive pace. Chelsea were well aware of his many talents, but couldn't promise him first-team football ahead of Cesar Azpilicueta and Rhys James, so he linked up with Graham Potter at the Amex instead. I think that was a smart decision for both player and club, and with a little competition at this height, he very comfortably gets us off to a strong start. 5 foot 5. Dodo. Brazil have had many excellent vertically challenged fullbacks over the years, and though he is as yet uncapped by the senior national team, Dodo is more than capable of becoming the latest in that long line. The 22-year-old Shakhtar Donetsk star joined the Ukrainian champions from Kortiba in 2018, and he spent the 2018-19 season on loan in Portugal with Vitoria Guimarães. His first season in the Shakhtar first team was so impressive that Bayern Munich came in with a 25 million euro bid, but Shakhtar held firm. They won't be able to do that forever, and you can expect to see this little man strutting his stuff in one of Europe's top five leagues before long. 5 foot 6. Fagner. Sticking with Brazilian right backs, albeit ones at opposite ends of their careers, unlike Dodo, Fagner has been capped by Brazil at senior international level. The 31-year-old, who stands at 168cm tall, has won 10 caps for Brazil in total, and he ended up being Brazil's right back at the 2018 World Cup, following injuries to both Dani Alves and Danilo. The experienced fullback, who previously enjoyed a stint at Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga, has been remarkably consistent for Corinthians over the last five or six years. 5'7", Jordi Alba. The first height with numerous high-profile candidates the likes of Jordi Alba, Jesus Navas, and Rafael Guerrero may be high profile within the world of football, but they are still pretty short in real life. Yeah, that rubbish joke was me doing the honourable mentions. Despite considerable competition, Alba's inclusion was never really in any doubt, especially not this season. The 32-year-old, who has won 72 caps for Spain and is rapidly closing in on 400 appearances for Barcelona, has been excellent this season enjoying his best season for at least three or four years, with five goals and ten assists to his name for both club and country so far this term. 5 foot 8. Danny Carvajal. We go from consecutive Brazilian fullbacks to consecutive Spaniards at 5 foot 8, and another Spaniard in the form of Jose Gaia is deserving of the most honourable of mentions. A perennially underrated footballer who is often only truly appreciated when he is out of the team that has been the case for much of this season, with a string of muscle injuries having limited Danny Carvajal to just 13 appearances all season. Real Madrid are a much weaker team in his absence, and as one of the finest fullbacks of his generation, who stands at 173cm tall, Carvajal takes the crown just ahead of his compatriot at 5'8". 5'9". Ricardo Pereira. 
It's little wonder that the early parts of this video are dominated by fullbacks, given that height tends to be a rather more pressing requirement when it comes to centre-backs. Italy and AC Milan legend Franco Baresi stood at just 5'9", but he is 60 years old now, so I think it'd be pushing it to include him. Ricardo Pereira is less than half his age, and whilst he may struggle to match his legacy, he is a fantastic fullback. Signed by Leicester City from Porto for the not insignificant sum of €25 million Euros in 2018, Pereira has still proved to be a brilliant piece of business, and his return from injury following almost a year out of the game should provide a welcome boost to Brendan Rodgers' side ahead of the end of season running. 5 foot 10, Andy Robertson. We very nearly see our first centre back at 5 foot 10, as subscribers and regular viewers of this channel will be well aware of my fondness for Jules Kunde, and the high regard that I hold the Frenchman in. Despite only being 5 foot 10, he is still a match for most centre forwards in the year, but 5'10 is also perhaps the most competitive height of all in this video. Sergio Regulon, Cal Walker, Kieran Tierney, Luca Digne, Alexandro, and the aforementioned Jules Kunde could all stake solid claims, but in the end, I've given it to former Hull City man Andy Robertson, who has been consistently excellent for Liverpool for much of the last few years, and I'm often told I'm overly critical of him, so I will speak in nothing but glowing terms about him here. I should point out, though, that I omitted Joshua Kimmich on the grounds that he will be eligible for the midfield video, playing predominantly in holding midfield these days. Had he been eligible here, he would have come out on top. 5 foot 11, David Alaba. We finally come to our first centre back at 5 foot 11 inches tall, though he is a man who has spent the vast majority of his career playing as a left back. A child prodigy, David Alaba has been earmarked for greatness since the age of 14 or 15, which cannot be easy to live up to. He has done so expertly, though, in the excellent surroundings, it must be said, of the Allianz Arena. Following more than a decade in Bavaria, where Alaba has played more than 400 games and transitioned beautifully to centre-back under Hansi Flick, the 28-year-old will join Real Madrid this summer on a lucrative five-year deal. You know, cash-strapped Real Madrid, who Florentino Perez said couldn't afford to sign anyone if the so-called Super League didn't happen. Yeah. Then. Oh, and honourable mentions at 5-11 go to Trent Alexander-Arnold, Ferland Mendy, and Ashraf Hakimi. Six foot, Sergio Ramos. A man who David Alaba could well partner at centre-back next season, provided Sergio Ramos signs a contract extension at the Bernabeu, that would be a markedly short centre-back pairing by modern-day standards. Sergio Ramos may only stand at 184cm tall, or 6 foot, but he remains formidable in the air, and he has been an absolute giant of a man for both Real Madrid and the Spanish national team. Like his teammate at both club and international level, Danny Carvajal, Ramos has suffered numerous injury setbacks this season, and boy, have lost Blancos missed him. Nonetheless, and even at the age of 35, he still takes the crown at 6 foot, ahead of arguably world-class competition in the forms of Joao Cancelo, Marquinhos, and Alfonso Davies. Six foot one, Kalidou Koulibaly. In my eyes, six foot one presented the toughest selection dilemma in this entire video, between Kalidou Koulibaly and Jose Jimenez, with an honourable mention owed to the inform Luke Shaw. Both are fantastic centre-backs who are dogged and diligent in their defensive duties, so I went solely with who I felt was the slightly superior centre-back right at this moment in time. That is Kalidou Koulibaly, albeit there is very little in it. Often cited or thought of as being far taller than he actually is, that's probably because Koulibaly is such a dominant and commanding figure at centre-back. A four-time Serie A Team of the Year inclusion, Koulibaly is rapidly closing in on 400 appearances for Napoli, and only prohibitively high asking prices have prevented him from joining one of European football's elite. Six foot two, Ruben Diaz. This was a tough one in some respects, given the extraordinary level of competition, but I had to go with Ruben Diaz, given his magnificent performances for Benfica, and the way in which he has continued that fine form, seemingly with consummate ease, ever since signing for Manchester City. As with Koulibaly, Diaz often seems taller than 6 foot 2, or 187 centimetres, due to his authoritative performances and tremendous aerial ability. 
Honourable mentions go to Giorgio Chiellini, Matthias De Litt, Milan Skriniar, Stefan de Vrij, and Porto veteran and Ruben Diaz's international teammate, Pepe. Six foot three, Rafael Varane. The third Real Madrid player to feature in this video, Rafael Varane, is the only one of the three to have registered more than 15 La Liga appearances so far this season. A man who seems to have been around for as long as anyone can remember, that is because Varane shot to fame at Lens as a 17-year-old and joined Real Madrid where he immediately started to get game time when he was still only 18. Now aged 27, Varane has already racked up more than 350 appearances for the Spanish Giants and the 191cm tall World Cup winning centre-back is one of only four men to have won the World Cup and the Champions League during the same season. Honourable mentions go to America Laporte, Leonardo Benucci, and Matt Summers. 6 foot 4, Virgil van Dijk. There are some fine 6 foot 4 inch centre backs from Pau Torres and Francesco Acerbi to Gerard Piquet and Harry Maguire, but all are rather inevitably pipped to the post by Virgil van Dijk. Such a huge loss for Liverpool this season, van Dijk is virtually irreplaceable in Jurgen Klopp's side not just in terms of his defensive credentials, but also his distribution out from the back, his leadership skills, and the calmness that he brings to the Reds' back line. The 29-year-old Dutchman is a giant of a man, a 193cm tall, and it will be a giant boost to Liverpool once he returns to their starting eleven. 6 foot 5, Nicholas Zula. Following two outstanding scenes at Bayern Munich, Nicholas Zula actually suffered the same injury as Virgil van Dijk, a ruptured ACL, at the start of the 2019-20 season. It was cruel on the centre-back that, in his absence, Bayern went on to lift a historic 6 tuplet but he still has plenty of time to win the Champions League himself, aged only 25. Signed by Bayern from Hoffenheim, Zula appears to be Germany's first-choice centre-back when fit, especially given the continued absence of Mats Hummels and Jerome Boateng. Honourable mentions go to his international teammate Jonathan Tarr, along with Joel Matip, who was also born in Germany, but chose to represent Cameroon at international level before retiring from international football in 2015. 6'6", Yannick Vestergaard. As we approach the height at which you have to start ducking down when walking through certain types of doors, it's little wonder that we haven't seen many fullbacks for a while. That remains the case as 6 foot 6, unsurprisingly, as Yannick Vestergaard very comfortably comes out on top. Standing at 199cm tall, Vestergaard had spent his entire professional career playing in Germany prior to his move to Southampton in 2018. The giant Dane has been excellent for the Saints this season, and he sees off the challenge of Saint Etienne Loni, Pap Abu Sisse, without too much concern. Six foot seven, Dan Byrne. A full foot taller than Jordi Alba, lest we forget, Dan Byrne does often play as a left back, just like the Barcelona man. I mean, he doesn't play the role just like the Barcelona man, let's be clear. I mean, he often plays at left back, like Jordi Alba. Standing at a whopping 201cm tall, it's little wonder that Burns' game is a little different to more diminutive fullbacks, but don't be tricked into thinking that he can't play. Capable of playing as either a centre-back or left-back, but at his best on the left side of a back three, Burn is very happy to bring the ball out from the back and try to instigate attacks, which is what Graham Potter likes to see from all of his defenders. A very honourable mention goes to Millwall centre-back Jake Cooper, who I'm actually a little surprised hasn't been given a shot at Premier League football just yet. 6 foot 8, Stefan Sapic. Our final inclusion, and also our least known, Getty Images, only have three photographs in their database of Stefan Sapic. Perhaps that is because it proved to be difficult to get him all in one shot, so they only uploaded three to their database, who knows. A native of Belgrade who plays in the Serbian Superliga for Cukaritski, Sapic is 1cm taller than LeBron James, 27cm taller than PewDiePie, and 45cm taller than Ariana Grande. Sapic is also a much better centre-back than LeBron, PewDiePie, and Grande, at least as far as we know, with some having tipped him as a future Serbian international. 
unsurprisingly pretty tough to beat in the air, the Serbian national team is already like the land of the giants, and with Sapic in their side, they could probably take on the Harlem Globetrotters. Anyhow, that is it for today's video, but thank you all as ever for watching. Please do hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for the one and only HITC7s. You can also find me on Twitter or Instagram by the username at HITC7s, should you wish to do so.